What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Base Camp Ground Zero Where in the last episode we had been helping- oh no, what's this go- I got people like under attack over here Oh, that's Sergeant Tan, I think He was just in our base talking, that's the only reason I know that Let's help him out really quickly Because there's no sense in not helping him out Okay, I don't even know where he's headed back to right now Let's get back in our vehicle. In the last episode, we had helped out the Wilkersons who had been working over some of the locals. And in this episode, we need to help the punk rock team or the heavy metal team or whatever they are over here across town. We're going to help them build a watchtower so that they're not constantly being attacked by zombies. Trying to build up a bit of a rapport with everybody around us, making sure that everybody in the neighborhood likes us. Because if nobody likes you in the neighborhood, then Mr. Rogers is silently weeping up in the stars somewhere because that was the whole point of the show didn't you watch mr rogers neighborhood you wanted everybody to feel like a neighbor and so that's what we're trying to do here in the zombie apocalypse what place mr rogers has in the zombie apocalypse well i think the zombie apocalypse needs mr rogers more than anywhere else to be square let's get in here oh got a little bit of air right there just kind of drifted into the parking lot that's how you make an entrance entrances are really important especially when you're trying to impress other people Oh, they gave me supplies, too. I forgot about that. So I'll have to deal with that, too. Right on the grapevine, you might need a hand. Yeah? Huh. Maybe Quentin's right after all. So here's the thing. We've had zombie attacks like five times already. And a couple of times they actually got inside. We need to build some real defenses. But construction's noisy. And we don't have enough guys to fight off zombies and fix the place up. Okay, let's get this thing underway. No sweat. I'll help run interference while your people work. Guess that's true, I owe ya. I'll meet you out front. Yup. We need to build some watchtowers, like they have down at the courthouse. It's a fairly... Hey, Bex. What is it, Quentin? Not really, just, uh, you know, checking in. Dude, what the hell? I saw you like ten minutes ago. Also, kinda busy here. Right, right, sorry. Stupid. Keep an eye out for the zombies. I'll be as quiet as I can, but well, I mean, I'm using a fucking hammer. I know, realism being what it is. You always need a realist around. Let's pick this wedgie. Let's do this thing. Oh, there are a lot of white dots. That's a lot of white dots coming at me from many, many different varied directions. Uh, I'll get you guys first. Ah, drop kick. Oh, good. They come out and they help. That's a plus. Oh, and my pipe threader is going to break right when I got here. How did I know something like this was going to go wrong? These guys are probably swamped over here, right? Yep. Hey, we got some trouble out by the shed. Can't we deal with this later? Not if you want to finish them towers. We got zombies harassing the guys bringing out the material. Uh, make that a lot of zombies harassing our guys. God damn it. Come on, then. You better go bail them out. Yep. Let's do this thing. We're clear. I mean, realistically, I think they'll probably be okay without. Oh, never mind. He said guys, this is plural. That is very clearly one guy. Like I said, I need more specificity before I run into a rescue operation. Well, I said one guy come over in here. Not everybody. The watchtowers were my idea, but Quentin designed them. He's pretty clever when it comes to building stuff. With girls, not so much. Trouble in paradise? God, don't get me started. So the other night we had a pretty close call, right? I mean, zombies were inside. We were all freaked. So we raided the liquor department afterwards, just to take the edge off. You know? What happened? <coughs> so, yeah. We both we probably should, and there's this couch in the manager's office, and... Yeah. But this whole lost puppy thing. And acting like we're married. Okay, we got some more materials headed your way. They're loaded down pretty good, though. Support be helpful. Oh my god, this dude is... We're gonna lose somebody here. Oh my god, we got him. That was such a bout of bad luck. 
Oh good, my gun's almost broken too. How could this situation get any worse? Maybe, are they okay over there? Okay, cool. They're running in a pack over there. That big bastard showing up was way, way, that's an outlier. That was way outside my analysis of the situation. In fact, I had to destroy my one true love, Cassie. Or Cassidy, if you don't want to shorten it. I had to, look at my car. Look at my car. I did this for you. I hope it was worth it, guys. I hope. I Still got half this place Shit, before Are you serious? He seems like a nice enough guy, but it was just sex, you know? Doesn't knock off this clinging vine thing. I think I might throttle him. So, uh, how's it coming out there? See what I mean? Zombies coming up behind us. There it is. See, now we're strapped. Yeah, this actually went a lot less hairily in my own game. This one is hairier than Doggy D. Let's see. Let, uh. And I probably shouldn't have done that. But they didn't see where it was coming from, so it's okay. We're going to survive, guys. It's going to be perfectly fine. Everything is going to be magical. Don't worry about it. It is going to be straight Penn and Teller up in here. Oh, good. There's an outlier. Or an outrunner, anyways. An outrigger? I don't know what to call him. Either way, I've got a cricket bat for him. Is that gonna do ya? Should give us some protection, anyways. We would have lost a lot of people without you. That counts for something in my book. Anyway, thanks for the. Oh, what the fuck? Hold it right there. Hands where we can see him. Whoa. Easy there, Alex. It's me, Sheriff Carl. But we don't want any trouble. We're just here to talk. Yeah, you wasted a trip. Turn around, walk away, and forget you ever saw this place. Huh? Wait, who's Alex? Forget it. We're not interested in signing up with your little society. Ease up, Pekka. Not everybody's out to kill us and take our stuff. It doesn't take everybody. Just one. All right. We'll go. We're not here to pressure anybody. You folks stay safe now. Hope you're keeping your nose clean, Alex. And I spy another big guy over there. Uh, the hits will just not stop coming. As a comeuppance, I'm going to take all their ammunition, though. See why you're so heartless about this. I'll run this home. Plenty of food. We'll be ready. Be sharing. Plenty of food? So you know how long all this is going to last, huh? We've got enough food for a month? Sure. A year? Maybe. Two years? Ten? Don't talk to me about plenty of food. Okay, fine. We need a long-term solution. I get that. But in the meantime, we could still be helping people around here. And what happens when the people we help get a bunch of their buddies with shotguns to come and take what we've got? Why would they do that? Please. You try to help people, and you just get taken advantage of. Weigh the world. Okay, so we got a, we got ourselves a bit of a, like, a pessimist. If not like a nihilist, you know, whatever. It's a, Oh no, there's another one around back, too. Where do these things keep coming from? That wake up Big Ben over here. Can he jump fences? I hope he can't jump fences. Damn it. Oh good, he can't jump fences. So he's basically a victim right now. Left trigger and Y to unjam your gun. Yeah, the gun does seem to be quite jammed. Something weird about the contrast in this game. I don't know what it is, but sometimes it seems like there's just like too much difference between the lights and the darks. I don't know if it's just me, and I need to scrape this bitch off quick. Let me see here. And off she goes. Turned her into ocean spray. That's a cranberry juice joke, I guess. I'll explain it. I will explain the joke. Sometimes, I just don't know. Sometimes the references I come up with, I don't know if they're, like, obvious enough, maybe? I don't know if I would have caught that one, so then I'm just like, Well, maybe I should explain it! <laughs> Which might actually just ruin the magic of the whole thing in the first place. Who knows? I'm not a performance guy. 
I hope you brought me something pretty. I'll show you when I get there. All right, so we actually just had a long bout. We just actually had like a really large run of like stuff that we had to do. I'm going to ditch this G26 and grab something else that might be useful. This gun's a little broke ass for my liking. So in there it goes. I did manage to pinch a couple of 22s, I think. Yeah, we have a lot of 22s, so maybe I'll just bring a 22 with me for now. Might be cool to use the AKM for a little bit. Yeah, let's let's diversify. Let's diversify our murderous rampages. Oh good, she's already over encumbered. Throw that in there, maybe that'll save her a little bit. To be fair, she's a little bit slow right now anyways. Yeah, let's swap her out for somebody else that's been resting. Maybe bring Ed along or somebody else that we haven't seen. I don't know who to pick. Let's pick somebody. This guy, Beanie Man, Xander Crook. What are this guy's abilities? Either way, let's have a look and see. Oh, he's got the uh, Manslayer over here. He's got the Model 29, so he's the one that's been stealing all of our 44. Let's see what his skills are. And it appears as though, I'm on the wrong thing here, counseling. He's good at calming people down, and everything else is just awful. Well, that's no good, and I think the weapon that he has actually breaks pretty quick, too. We don't want him to have a golf club. Let's jump back in here and swap him out for something a little bit more efficient that's not going to break quite as easily. Yeah, I don't think a hatchet's going to hurt us at all. Maybe like a nail puller? Yeah, that'll do it. Should get us taken care of. I don't know why the hatchet has such low durability. If it's an iron or a steel hatchet like you get from a hardware supply, sh or a hardware supply shop, it should last quite a while. Taking a look at our map, there are a lot of things to be done. Maybe think about... It's another group of survivors there. A stranger in trouble. We also need to find a saw for our garden. And we need to do a counseling run, so there's a lot of things going wrong. Let's handle ourselves at home first before we go do anything else. I can't, like, have anybody just losing their shit over here and flying off the handle. Who is it that's angry? Let me look at my list here. Who's grumpy? Well, we can tell just by going on the map over to somebody and we'll figure it out that way. Is it Jake? How's it going? Come on. We're going for a walk. Happy to help. It just mirrors it sound like the same guy is voicing both of us. It's like talking between twins. Doppelgangers. I guess. Some folks are kind of worried about you. Are you okay? Maybe everyone else has just been a little too sensitive lately. I'm gonna walk this one over because it's right here anyways. We cleared this house in, I guess, two or three episodes ago. Okay, now we're gonna go kill some zombies the old-fashioned way. Here comes trouble! I'm not gonna use the 44. I'm a little worried about using the 44 in any type of capacity. He should level up to three pretty quickly through fighting here. And now I'm gassed out already. Gonna have a look around and see what else is remaining in the building. There's probably something like up against a wall hiding in here somewhere. Where are you at, final zombie? Are you outdoors? Oh, nope, there it is. Oh, he's right behind me. Got him. Not too bad. We'll follow you. 10-4, I'm ready. Okay, let's head home. Anyway, I wanted you to know that I understand your frustration. Is that why you wanted this bit of quality time? We're all stressed, but we can't afford to be at each other's throats, okay? So start playing nice, or you're out on your ass. Okay, now we're done. 
I'm headed home. We just threatened to throw it like a main character. Somehow I don't see that flying with Lily. Look, uh, I'll think about what you said, okay? I'm glad. All right. So there's another problem taken care of. Let's start thinking about maybe... I've never been out this way on the map before. So I think we'll head out and help that guy. Just because I've never been in that direction, I'd like to learn the map for my own personal reference. I'll check this out next. Okay. Watch yourself out there. And I figure it probably couldn't hurt. Just to swing out that way. we got to get across the creek or the river or the creek or whatever you want to call it. But I don't think this bridge is blocked over here. This is the one we cross pretty frequently. Never mind. It's not blocked. we just got to hang a righty right after we get over here. Oh, I'm going to go off a sweet jump. This is going to be amazing. That was not so amazing as I expected, but it's the thought that counts. In a faster car, that probably would have been pretty bitchin', but alas, a faster car we have not. What's going on over here, guys? Big ol' horde? Alright. Oh no. This horde is good at what they do. They are skilled craftsmen at the zombieing. But then again... I'm relatively skilled at door foo, so I think we're going to be okay. Now, our dear friend has like zero cardio, and he tires out really easily while fighting. So we've got to take this. Can I use this tractor to run people over? Oh, I missed. Now I gotta get in here and actually do this. Oh no! Okay, so big man on campus now. Reload, man! Reload! I feel like I'm making this situation worse. I really do. Oh no. Yikes. Guess you could say she's not half the woman she used to be. Let's... I'm not sure what they expect me to keep doing against all these fat guys. Like, they're pretty much invulnerable to, like, everything. And unless you know they're gonna be there, you don't want to weigh yourself down with, like... Eh, let's get the hell out of here. I'm not even going to risk it. Don't want to lose my dude over here. For something relatively minor like a survivor I don't even know. I'm pretty sure I caused that through my Arrington. Also, my Arrant... God, there's so many. My errant and rapid use of a firearm probably made that way worse than it had to be. But I can't have been that out of order, right? I mean, you go in shooting. I was trying to rescue. I was trying to be a hero, and the universe just didn't want to let me, I think. I'm going to blame the universe for it. See if maybe I can tune this guy up with a car blast or something? I don't know. There we go. Knock him back a tad because I would like to get my hands on this loot over here. Did I kill him? I think we got him. Alright, we're good. Knock him down really quickly. There's the final blow. Maybe check some of this stuff just in case. I don't want the trip to be a complete waste. I mean, we didn't make it out here in time. Also, we may have gotten somebody killed. I should tell you guys the story about the time that I almost got a guy killed. I don't think this was my fault, though. That's my argument in this story, so bear in mind. So, the story begins. I'm driving on campus, right? And the campus is pretty busy. There's only one road that drives through the college. It's like one street, and it just goes on forever. It connects to, like, everything. Well, we're stopped up because there's street lights on campus, and we're stopped up, and there's this bike, and I'm, like, probably fifth back in line, so I'm not, like, the first one there. And there's this bike on my right. And so I wave him through to go past me, right? Because I figure, why not? I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. We're all sitting still anyways. Like, none of us are actually, like, doing anything. 
And so I wave this guy past, and so he pedals, like, really quickly and goes in between the front of my car and the car in front of me. And right as he moves away from us, like, so what happens... Oh, I forgot we had that other thing to recover. And so what happens is the moment he goes in between the two cars and gets out the other side, a car going the opposite direction goes whap and just takes him out. And I was like, oh, God! Because I totally figured it was, like, my fault, right? Because I waved him through. Well, like... I have a long-running debate that it wasn't really my fault because he should have looked both directions. Like, I didn't get a guy run over by a car. To make matters worse, the second that car hits him... The second that car hits him, the cops pull up just instantly. So a cop saw the whole thing. Just whoop, whoop, a cop drives up. The whole thing turns into a mess, and I was like, well, I think they've got it covered. Time to hit the old dusty trail. And that's my story. So what do you guys think? Was it my fault the dude got run over? Or was it totally his fault for not looking both directions? Oh, my wheel is off. Weak. Oh, and he's not even dead either. Well, at least I made some kind of recovery from the loss without things getting too rowdy. I'm going to change it out for this pizza car up here. Roll! Word around town is you're making quite a splash for yourself, my friend. You might not know me yet, but I think the two of us will do each other a lot of good. Why don't you come down to Marshall so we can have a little face-to-face -face chat? I think that given the... I don't know, but I'm not sure I trust him. You remember that corruption scandal a few years back? I remember that the charges were dismissed. Nobody could prove anything. All I know is when my dad's insurance wouldn't cover my treatment, Ray shows up at our place one night with an envelope full of cash. He tells my dad not to worry so much. Just remember me in November. It was $10,000. A lot of money for a county commissioner. Yeah, well... I don't know where he got it, and I don't really care. Ray's a good guy in my book. He probably saw him, he robbed a rich old lady right before he showed up there, and Ray's all right in your book. Anybody that shows up with 10 G's, like in cash, in an envelope, eh, slightly suspect, unless you know them, like if they're family. Then less suspect, but still. Probably going to owe somebody something. Let me throw that axe in there so that it starts getting repaired. We'll hold on to the other two things. He has already lost some stamina. This guy is killing me. Let's see here. I'm going to start carrying firebombs around with me just in case those big guys show up because that's really one of the only ways other than running them over with cars that I found that actually like dispatches them left and right and manages to keep them just out of my hair. Jump back into the car. This guy has not leveled at all like this entire time, has he? Let's have a look. He leveled up fighting. His cardio, I think, leveled up too. What do we need help with here? Fear itself. I guess we'll handle that first. Let's go do fear itself, and I think that'll probably be the last thing we take care of in this episode. Oh, it's Ed. Hi. Come on. You and me are going to go out there and kick some ass. You'll feel better. Happy to help. I'm always like, at some point, you've got to figure you'd start making a dent in the zombies. I mean, I don't know how big this town is, but this town looks pretty mediocre to small. I mean, my hometown has like 115,000 people, and it just kind of goes on for a ways. And that's not even like a big town. That's like a city, but not like a huge city, you know what I mean? So you'd figure at a certain point you would have killed most of the zombies in this location. We're going to take a car on this one because that's a little too far to walk. Also, where the hell is Ed? Ed? What is this guy doing? Is he like trapped against a wall or something? Edvard? Present yourself? Is Ed broken? What is Ed doing here? Maybe if I drive off far enough it'll be like a quest mob in an MMO and he'll just like pop in from nowhere. I always shoulder the door open because they can't keep me. They can't contain me. I'm like the rock. I just bust through. And I give people the evil eyebrow. And then they smell what I have cooking because it was bean night. I'll wait here. Ed! I was hoping maybe he'd pop back in. Ed, what are you doing? Are you broke right now? Ed! Come with me if you want to do your quest. Yeah. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, I hit you with a nail puller. Buggy, buggy, buggy. Well, we found a bug, I think. Maybe if I go this way, maybe he'll come? I don't know. He sort of looked like he was moving there for a second. Well, I'll break the episode off here while I fix this. 
Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle. I'm sorry that a bug appears to have ended our episode. I'm probably have to re yeah, I'm probably gonna have to reload. It happens every now and again. Although all of our survivors seem rather frozen. I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for dropping in. This game is pretty sweet, and I check it out on Steam. It's definitely worth the price. It's the most fun I've had with a game in a while. Take care out there, everybody. My name is Splattercat, and goodbye, dear sirs and madams.